Hello, Abaddon Sentinel here again, uh, coming to you today to show you a comparison. Uh, we are looking today at the differences between the uh, old Chaos Space Marines miniatures and the new ones that have recently been brought out. Um, the one that I'm actually using in this example uh, is actually from the Blackstone Fortress box, uh, but it is basically the same as a lot of the ones that you can get from Shadow Spear and the new ones that have been released as their own set. Um, the one on the right is just a bug standard marine from the kit that was available up until recently on the release of the new ones. Um, I've chosen two that are in roughly the same kind of pose, so we can uh, compare that. Uh, you can see the difference there almost immediately if I level them up next to each other. In height, the new one is essentially a full head above the old miniature. So much taller. Obviously stance has a bit to do with it. But um get that back in focus, there we go. You can also see the difference in the, the chunkiness of the armour. Um not just that, but the, the decoration on the armour as well is a lot different. Uh, for example if we rotate it round to show the shoulder. You can see that the shoulder pad on the newer marine uh, is a lot more decorated than the one on the old marine. The old marine is, as was with a lot of Chaos stuff up until fairly recently, um, pretty much the same as a standard Space Marine shoulder pad, uh, but with, you know, a bit of extra spikes on it, maybe maybe a skull, obviously in this case definitely a skull. Uh, but the new one, they've added a bit more to it, they've actually got... Um, well, it's essentially a chaos symbol cracked into the surface, I would say is probably the best way of describing it. Uh, it's like it's split open to reveal this chaos symbol. Um, there's an extra bit of cloth hanging down from it, um, just to differentiate it a bit more, show you that the chaos marines aren't afraid to uh, decorate themselves, unlike the loyalist brothers. Uh, the backpacks have also changed slightly. Uh, not massively, um, because you can get similar backpacks before now anyway. Um, this isn't an entirely brand new design, but it is um, definitely, I think, nicer than, say, what's on this this one here, on the right-hand side. Um, it's just kind of simple, not over the top, a bit more compact. It's quite nice. Um, Again, going on the armour again though, you can see the difference there. Uh, there's just that little bit extra detail, a bit of extra decoration. Um, oh, say on the, the back, just at the lower back there, on the back of the legs. You know, it just adds that extra little detail, especially once it's painted up. Uh, which again, obviously, I will be showing you in uh, other videos. Um, but even things right down to just the detail of the, the, the small grenades hanging from his belt there just gives it that little extra touch that just makes it that much nicer um, as well the helmet compared between these two the helmet isn't quite as over the top there are still some in the new Chaos Marine uh, set that uh, you you know you would describe as a bit garish a bit over the top and you know that's to be expected uh, but Games Workshop do seem to have done very well at toning things down a little bit, um, while also still having them look very chaosy. Um, and uh, I think I think it's been very effective personally. Uh, I, I hope you'd agree. I mean, you can always comment down below and tell me whether or not you think I'm uh, I'm correct or wrong, or you know, I'd like to hear from you. Because um, to me, these new models are just absolutely amazing in comparison to the old ones. Um, the proportions are better. Uh, the detailing's better. For someone who enjoys painting so much, it's exactly what I want to see from a miniature, to be honest. There's so much there to work with, um, and it, it just makes it so much nicer. Um, so, like I say, I will show you once I've got this guy painted up. Um, and also, the older Chaos Marines I've got as well, and we can do a comparison once they're painted, uh, just to demonstrate what I'm talking about when I say um, that you can, you know, you can do a lot more with the detail on these new models. But uh, yeah, for now that is it for this video. 
Uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, share it around with your friends if you think they will too. And uh, I'll see you again next time.